And joining us on the line is AMCO President Joseph Matunjo. Mr. Matunjo, good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. Just your initial reaction and now with the latest uh, discovery of uh, the fifth minor who was earlier not accounted for. Yes, yeah, thank you. We convey our heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased. And uh, we as AMCO will continue persuading uh, these companies uh, to adhere to the Mine Health and Safety Act and to pursue the government to amend and to give more strength to Mine Health and Safety Act because we feel very strong that uh, these uh, deaths could have been avoided if uh, there was a respect of life from the side of the company through their line management. Let's talk about that relationship as we've heard that it, it seems to be acrimonious in that managers can force or allegedly force workers to work in, in dangerous or hazardous uh, spaces. H how real is that? Yeah, I mean, I think through their spokesperson uh, yesterday uh, or so, uh, she did allude that there is kind of a bullying uh, by management, bullying the, the workers. Uh, to find themselves in the wrong spaces, of which all along they were saying, no, these workers, they just went into an abandoned area, of which we've been disputing as AMCO to say, if the competent person was part of the death, surely these workers were instructed to enter to that space. And also, we know for the fact that there were three officials that were suspended before this incident happened. So we would like to know why they were suspended. And also we'd like to know those crew or those workers, those five workers, were they familiar with the area? Were they inducted with the area? Were there any uh, risk assessment conducted to that area? So those are the things that you need to come forward uh, during the inquiry and the local inspection that will be conducted by DMR with the mine, with the union. Mr. Matunjo, there's also been criticism in the sense that if workers refuse to uh, subject themselves or put themselves in danger and refuse an instruction from their managers that they could be uh, essentially punished for something else in subordination or along the line uh, end up being victimized. That is correct. Uh, as, as I did confirm to say, three mine workers has been suspended. And we know for the fact that those mine workers were suspended because they claimed that they were fixing that abandoned area. They were slow in terms of fixing the area. And we know for the fact that there is a miner and a health and safety rep who refused to enter into that space of which these five workers died. So we need to know from this mine why were these three officials were suspended. I've interviewed them. Some of them is because they refuse to enter into the wrong uh, into this area. Others is because they, they were slow because the area is dangerous. Previously, they had closed this area because they knew how dangerous it is. Well, we had the spokesperson from uh, Sibanya Stillwater who emphatically said that the company has done all things possible to ensure the safety of workers, saying that uh, they are compliant and working with all stakeholders. How do you respond to this? I think I'll tend to be, for maybe the PR exercise, they are ticking the box. Because, I mean, if their managers can force the workers to enter into such spaces, therefore it, it, it's clear, therefore, that it's just a PR exercise in terms of health and safety. And uh, we believe, which we still have to verify, that the very same manager of the mine was once suspended by the DMR. We want to know if it was suspended, how was it brought back to work? So there is a lot of questions that Sibanya should answer. We know for the fact that they are threatening AMCO to take legal actions against AMCO because of our utterances in the media. And uh, we responded. I think it's an open letter, which I think your, your media house, we will be able to, to get that response. We are not going to massage Sibanya when it's busy killing and their minds becoming a killing field of only black mine workers. 
Would you say that this is enough uh, justification uh, to explore whether the license of Sibanye should be revoked? Even before you get to that uh, revoking, you remember during the, uh, not during, when the 1,000 workers were trapped at Beatrix, we, we as AMCO, we made a clearance call to say, let the Sibanye conduct a safety audit suspend the operation for a week, let's form the task team, let's go to each and every space of Sibanye to do the audit. No one, uh, I mean, let's, I mean, listen to that, uh, I mean, I mean, current call, even the government itself. I think for now, the Department of Mineral and Resources will be, will be awake and take necessary steps to correct this. We're going to leave it there. Thank you indeed for your time. Much appreciated. I'm co-president Joseph Matunjwa on the line.